Here we go. We are live. It's Chicklets Game Notes, episode 23. And we're coming to you from Minneapolis, St. Paul, the Twin Cities, the Arm Dog, or as I'm getting called a lot around the rink a lot, Merles, Arm Zempic, the Slim Dog, and my boy Merles, EBR, everybody rides. Uh, it's electric here at the Frozen Four, Merles. Uh, what's your feelings comparatively i would say i'm, I'm relating it to, to tampa we we're in tampa last year just comparatively to tampa so far uh pretty pretty much the same you see all the different college jerseys the weather's a little different than we had last year but you're, you failed to mention your new name i heard last night the underdog because oh, you yeah. have you had denver yeah you, you we were thinking maybe michigan but that denver call was huge we had a night but before we get to all that i gotta tell you about DraftKings. all right all right hockey fans Playoff time is near, and I've and we've teamed up with DraftKings to help fuel the action. Say hello to their newest way to play fantasy sports, Pick 6. New customers get up to $200 back in Pick 6 credits if your first pick set loses. Select between two to six hockey players and choose if they're going to have more or less of a certain stat. Then track your lineup and compete against others for a shot at huge cash prizes. Getting started is so simple. Download the DraftKings Pick 6 app and sign up using code Chicklets. The crown is yours, Army. Unbelievable. Presented by DraftKings. Uh, Game Notes, episode 23, presented by DraftKings. Amazing ad read right there, Merles. We're grinding on the road, but we are in person. This is fantastic. Wow. We have Fish here handling uh, all of our stuff. Uh, Pasha's behind the scenes. G is here as well behind the scenes working. He'll pop in. Uh, he's got to, I'm sure he's got a lot to say or a lot to show us maybe with his gear that he's wearing. Uh -huh. uh, but we also have Biz is here as well. Yeah. Biz made an appearance yesterday. came in like absolutely blazing off his plane yeah. and he was ready to go. What do you make of his act right uh, now? He's, he's, he's I've never seen it. somebody so excited for hockey. He, what is this? This is awesome. He was going crazy. He had so much fun. We were with the Denver parents watching the game and that just added to the electricity of it all. G, we did. I did get a lot of questions. Where's G? Where's G? He's the college guy. Where is he? But we said, don't worry. He'll be here Saturday. There he is. There's we, G. We He's think old. Witt will still be here Saturday, but we don't know now after the BU loss. But what's um, up? Unfortunately, unfortunately, it killed me. It absolutely killed me to not be there with you guys. I got some bigger things I got to attain to right now. I got some family stuff I got I to gotta handle right now. But I, I'm flying 5 a.m. flight tomorrow out of Newark. I'll be there. I'm very excited. Go Eagles, baby. I told you guys. I told everyone. Don't count out Will Smith. Will Smith, Will Smith is him. It's him, Smith. And yeah. what happened? You, you snub him from the from the Hobie Baker, and he puts on an absolute show. He's gonna Love shove it. shove that thing down your throat, Army. <laughs> <laughs> We're dialed in with the Denver family, man. Where all the parents, what you know, the guy that got bundled from behind in that game, and it was only a two minute penalty. His his father was standing right next to us. If he would have scored a goal or anything, we were going to hoist him on our shoulders, put his head through the tile roof. This, these guys, he was surprisingly pretty chill, though. Even yeah. when his son got railed from yeah. behind, <laughs> he was just like chilling. He was just like not a big deal. I was I was so surprised because, you know, being a hockey parent, our parents, anyone, you, you're concerned, obviously. But he was like, I've seen this, been there, done that, not a big deal. So it was a pretty cool experience sitting with all those people. It also helped the eight or nine tall boy beers <laughs> yeah. I saw him drinking throughout the double overtime game. But they had a good time. But B this is BC dads. You know, you invited us yesterday to the party, but I need some swag. I'm going to be on BC. I got to go against Army. I need the swag. So I'll see you guys somewhere. I need the rally towel. I mean, yeah, you need. I, it's, it's unbelievable, though. G's like, of course, yeah, Will Smith is unbelievable like he's making so much happy he didn't score on the one play yesterday he did have a goal two goals sorry but he he had a play where he came in on like a defender and he did like 10 different moves yeah. and ended up losing the puck it was the craziest i was just like oh my he's different yeah he's different and i saw a tweet it was like you know they they snub him off this hobie baker thing and he went john he's going john wick <laughs> he's going john that was our empty netter friends that yeah. tweeted that i thought that was a good tweet i'm like he is <laughs> yeah. going john wick yeah. he's like i'll show you uh g's right he is him uh he'll be gone he'll be in san jose next year there's no question watching his game um, as much san as jose, i was I right i have to say <laughs> As much as I was right, I did have Denver losing in the first round of the tournament, so I can't claim to be this uh, college hockey expert. 
They should have lost in the first round. This team is crazy. That I, I was that's the game I was at in Springfield. They played UMass. They got dominated for three periods and two overtimes, and they somehow came out with a two one win. Then they played Cornell. They didn't outplay Cornell. They won again two to one. Last night they were getting dominated in the first period. And we're like, yeah. you better put them away. This team likes to hang around. Doesn't happen. One one. Once it went one one, Denver just took over. Yep. Denver's goalie was great. The BU goalie was ridiculous. Oh, he's two like ten bell saves that are highlight Incredible. any league yeah. anywhere in the world. Unbelievable. Um, but it's the same kid, Tristan Bro. Shout out to him. He came up. We we got an interview with him. G Merles, the boys, Fishy was there. We we quickly ran down. We were with some buddies of his. And they're like, oh, yeah, he's our best friend. We should get him. You guys, we want to get him on an interview. And so he popped up. He's talking to his agent, his family, everyone. And then he made some time to come over and have a little jaw wag with the Game Notes boys, which was really awesome. Shout out to Tristan Bros for doing that. Uh, How was the vibe in there, though, guys? Yeah. I, I'm interested because I, I Fish sent me a first, uh, a video that it, it looked like the first game was a little dead. Usually I feel like that's how it goes. Five o'clock, it's tough for everyone to get out of work, be there on time. But the second game, oh. it, it looked pretty packed. Merle's yeah. had some thoughts so, on this. So it, it. It's the same problem at the regionals, and we saw it last year at the Frozen Four, is what they do is they give each four team gets like a family section. So there's a whole entire section of BC and Michigan people that were not there for the first game because they're at their pregame mm -hmm. party and their meetup with the alumni. So those two sections are really empty, and they don't really come until maybe the third period of the first game. And then the same time when the second game starts all the bu people take off because they're grumpy they're out of there and this and uh the denver people all leave to go meet their kids go out to dinner with them and everything so you get a lot of empty seats in the lower bowl so they they need to figure out a way to to pack the lower bowl and then somehow have a flip over for the second game you know what i'm saying yeah like put they, the, maybe you just put the fans it. all like the families and stuff up top Right. Yeah. So the lower bowl is just always packed. Yeah. So, yeah. Or so just don't something. let them come to the other game and say, here's your tickets for the next game and, and, and somehow do that because it, the game did go to overtime also, which pushed things back. So there was an hour in between game. Like you can get everyone out of the rink and get them back in. They do it at, uh, I was at the, uh, March Madness basketball games in Pittsburgh. They flood everyone out of one exit and everyone comes in another entrance. There's a way to do it so you can keep that rink packed all the time if they're not going to be there to use those tickets. But what a day of hockey, man. It was it was it was great vibes. I go back to your original question. It was we met so many people. Biz is a was a beetle once again. He didn't stop. Oh, biz, yeah. biz, biz. And and that's how we met with uh we got up with uh was it Connor Mahoney? He his grandfather wanted to meet Biz. So he brought us up to the the suite to meet him. Yeah. And that's where he goes. My best friend just scored the game winning goal. We're like, what? All right, we'll go meet him and get a quick interview with Scary him. Terry in the chat says uh Grinelli's a jock sniffer. He's BC jock sniffer, I'm guessing. <laughs> oh, he's calling you out there, G. Scary Terry, 88. I'll sniff some jocks if they let me come do a Chicklets University video. <laughs> if oh, Michigan, buddy. I'm I'm up for grabs. I can be bribed very easily. Buddy, we were getting our, our, our shout out to NCAA. I don't know the guy's name off by heart. You, you can give it a shout out after, but their media team and the guy that's sending us all the updates and everything. Um, Jordan, I, don't know. I know Jordan from the NCAA has just been massive with we're getting some emails going on, like updates on practice schedules, what's happening, where we get our media passes, how we're getting all this stuff, where to be, what to do. Uh, and there was a lady there, and she's she's um, connected through Michigan State somehow. Jamie Baldwin, she's the best. There you go, Jamie yeah. Baldwin, and she was all over us about Michigan State Chicklets. You, she's <laughs> like, how do we coordinate this? How do we set this up? Anson Carter's name was thrown in there, also about being a part of it as an alumnus. Uh, it was. I just so want the Ice Man. I want <laughs> Isaac Howard, the Ice Man, to give me the tour, or Red Savage, just an elite name. Those yeah. guys might be gone but before he can get out there. All these college kids are leaving. We saw our, our guy in Maine, Bradley Nadeau, took off to Carolina. The Hobie guy coming up here, he's in, he must be in town. Is he in town or is he in Carolina? Blake, he took off to Carolina. The kid from UMass went to Carolina. So who knows? These guys are all out quick. This Cutter Gauthier, by the way, yeah, this guy is a different level. This guy is a serious player. He picked up that one puck, and I'm like, this is a goal. Like there was yeah. no doubt in my mind he was outracing that guy and burying. The thing about him is, and we talked about this, like he look I, I I've said this, he looks like he's like slow. He kind of looks slow. He's really big. 
he's like he's lumbering i would say a little bit in in but but he's flying yeah but he's flying like when he got that breakaway and separated and, and you, scored, you had the perfect analogy <clears throat> i was just he looked like, like it's like uh, when i've seen and it's tough to compare yeah. but it's mario mario's big like that too not i don't think cutters as big as him but he kind of looks like he moves like him. Mario looks like he's not moving fast, but Mario's passing guys like okay. flying. Uh, if I remember at camp. You know who else was like that was uh, Eric Stahl. When I went to that training camp in Carolina, yeah. we were doing the bag skate. And the same thing. He's not like moving his feet, but he's just flying yeah, past all of us because he's so big. He's a big guy with kind of, yeah. you know, looks like his strides are kind of slow, but he's flying. And yeah. you could see on on that breakaway goal that he had yesterday that, that's what he is. Big body kid too. His shots elite. Um, yeah, good showing from BC. But we did everything yesterday. We got there. We got there. We picked up our media passes. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then we went to the red carpet fan fest that they had in there where the players like all marched in. And we were right on the wire. We were like on the on the ropes, like hanging in there. Me and Merle's with like we had this microphone and everything. We're like, hey, can we get a word? Can we get a word? And like these kids were just locked dialed in they don't have nothing to do with us clowns but we we got to talk to a lot of the families yeah the sisters the girlfriends tons of fans took some shots it'll all come out in the vlog later on but uh yeah we did the accuracy shooting oh yeah all right we did all right we had there. to burn the tape you'll have to see it <laughs> something happened old busy boy he didn't disappoint absolutely i took a run at merle's at bubble hockey oh yeah wayne gretzky of bubble hockey i took a run at him I, he was nervous i had his heart beat you had little. me it was well the shots were 12 to zero oh, i know i'm up only one nothing you had the best goalie i've ever seen yeah. we should play two two man team you'd be the goalie yeah and uh then all of a sudden you get one 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 into ot and who you had a couple chances i snuck by and kept the kept the crown for now yeah you did and then you got a challengers there's drunk guys everywhere some guy with like a <laughs> midriff shirt cut off i don't know what team he was with it was a bu guy was it a bu guy denver. i think he was denver, oh, denver guy should've... that was a yeah. sign right there that was a sign look at the signs guys little question oh. for you and, and a few people have chimed in on the chat about this morals you mentioned that you know the hurricanes are signing all their college free agents right now but they don't have an ahl team <laughs> it's so like where do these guys go where do they play like can they like I, I'm, I'm just so confused. I, I think the whole chat too. is like, where do they go? And they have the loaded team. Like they're not a team that needs guys. They're not San Jose that needs players right away. I, I, I was shocked when the dough left Maine because like just another year. Like why not? Because there's nowhere for him to fit in. Carolina. Well, they well, have Maria. Their, Maria in the brown. chat says that uh, rumor has it that they could be announcing a new AHL affiliate in the next yeah. few days here. They must. I, I mean, they must be. They have to. That's abomination. That's an abomination. You don't have a place to develop your your players. You have all these stud talent, and you have nowhere to put them. They're loaning them to different teams. They're loaning them to Chicago, to all these other teams all over the place. You're trying to track your guys. It's just insane. Like I think the player that Dubis got in the Gensel trade, he was playing in Chicago, but that's not even their affiliated team. So it's just like you're not. I don't think you're at your best for in doing your player justice when they're playing under another organization's yeah. outfit. It's just it's just not a good setup. I don't know how they let this happen. Yeah, so we had the same thing. When I was in Colorado, we split a team with Carolina and Albany, but the head coach was Tom Rowe. He was Carolina. The assistant coach was Joe Sacco, Colorado. So, yeah, they, they tried to be pretty fair, but at the end of the day, the Carolina guys – yeah, we're, we're getting in over us. Like they were getting a little extra treatment, and it just, it, it, like you said, it doesn't work. Well, the point is way. to develop your guys, and yeah. they're going to develop their guys. They're not worried about a loner player. Like they don't give two shits about that guy. <laughs> like at the end of the day, there's no question. So they got to get that straightened out. Someone said they might put in Raleigh too. I just saw in the chat. Someone put in the Ooh. chat. So we'll see that. Lots of craziness happening in 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 hockey though. Frozen Four playoff picture is um, is getting lit. Uh, I mean, it's electric right now. Watching every game in this race for the wild card is electric. Uh, we want to thank the chat. We see you. The chat is buzzing. Uh, I ran into a guy in Vancouver. I've been all over the place. I'll get to that. Ran into a guy. He's like, I'm OG. OG game notes. OG in the day. Like, everyone's yelling at me game notes. Everyone's yelling chicklets. Everyone's yelling Arm Zempic. It's hilarious. I'm <laughs> like, That's I, hilarious. Like, people like Arm Zempic <laughs> all over the place. And uh, this guy's like, yeah, I'm, I'm OG in the chat from the original days when we first started doing this. So it's it's been awesome. So thank you to everyone, everyone in the chat. We've got a chat lay for you 
here tonight. We'll get to that too, Merle's. Yeah, uh, let's get Tasha that out there. Pop that up. You want to go over that for the folks? Yeah, first one up. We got the BC kid, Hannafin, get a point. And Vegas, minus one and a half, plus 284. We have the Denver kid, Terry, anytime goal. And then the Ducks, plus one and a half, which is an interesting move. But that gets you up to plus 294. Those odds are brought to you by the DraftKings Sportsbook. I mean... I, I kind of like both of them. I think yeah. I might do both, but let's see what the chat says. Vegas has to win. Vegas, Vegas needs to Luke win Nip. to get into that. Like they want to stay in the Western bracket. They, yeah. you don't want to get over and have to play Dallas and Colorado. That would be brutal. So let's see if Vegas actually wakes up because they were pathetic so the other night. XR three seven seven three seven three seven made up name in the chat. Vegas kind of stinks though. Yeah. He says. I mean, yeah, it's just like they're not wanting to run with it. They need the Manitoba maniac. <clears throat> Hello to Laura in the chat. Sorry, I got, I got caught. Got a Laura. Laura here today. <laughs> Laura put together a nice little parlay for us. Put Everyone's coming big. in with the A's, big A votes for the hey, Vegas. for the chat right now. So my week, this I, I I've slept, I've been home in my bed for one day in the last two weeks. That's insane. It's it's insane. I was I was off. I did a I did a TNT. I was doing Penguins, uh, and then I went to Detroit for my son's Nationals last week. Shout out to Little Caesars, uh, Ryan Kessler and his team. They won in our age group out in Detroit. A really good team. They're number one all year. They took it down. Um, shocker NHL guys coaching teams, um, you know, so it, it, uh, 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 they kind of haven't lost a game since I think Thanksgiving. It's, it's crazy. He has some players coming in from other places. He's got some players yeah. coming in. Yeah, He's got some players coming little in. Little Caesar style. Yeah, so the, yeah. That's what they did. We ran into some little kids here that were here for a tournament, little Caesar kids that are like three, four years younger. But, um, then I, then I got home quickly did laundry, repacked my bags, Merle's flew out with the Penguins on Sunday to go to the Leafs game in Toronto, did that game, um, lost in overtime, got a point still. They're still collecting points. Overtime win last night, EK 65 with a bomb Crosby out of his mind, three point night again. Um, and then right from Toronto, I flew to Vancouver to interview JT Miller and Brock Besser Pasha. <laughs> Oh yeah. Stay tuned for what'll come from that. Uh, and then I got talk, our friend talk, uh, got him and the captain Quinn Hughes for some playoff content for that team. They haven't been to the playoffs or had a home game in the playoffs. Cause of course they were in the bubble since 2015. So big news coming up for Vancouver and their fans right from Vancouver. One day there did all that. The next day flew right here. And I've been with you hooligans ever since in the uh, pressure cooker that is the Frozen Four Gong Show. I got one question for you. You're on the road for two weeks. What kind of bag is Mel getting when you go home? Oh, what <laughs> bag am I getting? Whoa. She's taking care of four kids yeah, back I know. there. I know. I'm grinding. Wow. I'm working. My <laughs> wife, shout out to my wife. Yeah. She's yeah, pro. Out. She's a pro. Yeah. She shout gets out it to done. the wives. Let yeah. us go again. By the way, for me, like the packing now is so simple. I'll get, we, we, we've been doing a lot of trips lately, and I just wear the same stuff every time. I got my Chicklets hoodies, my Mugsy jeans. I don't even oh, have to yeah. think anymore. It takes me literally three minutes to pack my suitcase. It's the same three outfits. I just chuck them in. It's great. <laughs> I was here with Fish. She was sitting here, and we were waiting for you to fly in because I got in the night before just because of the travel. And Fish came over in the morning with all the gear. We're going to get it situated for for the pod today, folks. We, we're, we're just hustling behind the scenes. Uh, and you kind of like, wait till you see Merle's. Guaranteed. Like Muggsy jacket, like Chicklets hoodie, like Chicklets hat. Like he'll have the body armor. He's got it, of course. And uh, he'll be ready to go, like totally merched out. And you were. Yeah. Uh, like, uh, I think it was Steve Jobs that said that. He wears the same outfit every day. It's yep. one less thing he has to think about. And, and I love it. And I'm just, I don't have to think about it either. I went down, took a steam, come up, no stress. I'm like, I got plenty of time. I don't have to worry about my outfits. I know exactly how they look. Here I am again. <laughs> People are calling me R.A. Army in the chat. Well, one guy did. Anthony M. Just because of my voice. I'm clearing my throat. It's, I got coffee. Coffee voice. <laughs> coffee throat. You know, you get up in the morning. You got to have a little coffee. Um, that's the way it works. I'm nowhere near near R.A. Someone's four kids. Yeah, I got four kids. Four kids. Four, Thank yep. you, chat. This is what I do for you guys for content. Travel all over the globe, all over North America to give it to you. <laughs> Hang out with my buddy Merle's. It's awesome. Lots of craziness, though. Switching over to the NHL. I'm gonna snap it around in the NHL for a little bit. Let's get uh let's get that graphic up right away, Pasha, with Sid the kid. I am not on this list. It's a it's guys that he passed to. 
to score a goal. <laughs> Arm duck doesn't pull out. The guy says, <laughs> <laughs> but I see, never, but I see, I do see two other guys on this list right up there. Number. Th what is that? 13. 13 Colby Armstrong. Number 15, the great Ryan Whitney. I'm, I was so surprised. I was, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm up there on that list that high and even wit too. Like I know we were with him early in his career for a few years, Merle's, but I I'm surprised that we're still kind of up in that area and look how many guys he's played with. Like that's a, that's the thing about him through his career. Yeah. It's wild. Cause when you first said that, like, wait, I'm up that high. It's like, what? But it, it just shows like he plays with everybody. He's never had really solid line mates. Like you would think a guy that played this much, like I just feel like I always Gretzky and Curry. You think of guys like that. He always had him there for those big years. He has just been a revolving door. Yeah, Gino's always been with him on the power play and Latang, but he's never had like real like line mates forever. Like you could have been there and been his right wing for 15 years, I feel like. Then it would have been normal. I don't know. Yeah, I know. Like they usually have something, and they had that with Gensel. Gensel's obviously moved on. Um, but I think it just shows how adaptable Sid is in, in his game. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, that's the way. Like he's way a, probably the most adaptable player to like adapt his game to whoever he's with. For example, playing with me to playing with a guy like Gensel to playing with a guy like Dupuy, who he had success with to playing like with a guy like Hornquist, who was a st super straight line guy, dump and chase kind of guy, and um, he has the ability to you know going on the fly. Some guys like Dominic Simone would play with him yeah, for three weeks. Have a and great time. He would do great. Yeah. And then he'd fizzle off and then they bump someone else in there. Sherry uh, got on there. Connor Sherry. Yeah. yeah. Where like Ovechkin has always been with Backstrom or like Kuznetsov. Two setup guys for him. It's kind of the same deal where Crosby's just, he's with anybody. But it's really cool that you guys are on that list. Will says on the chat, Neil always lit it up with Crosby too. I'm ahead of him, believe it or not, on the goal list. Uh, of scoring goals and really? assists from him. Yeah, James Neal, good player, good goal scorer. No, I'm ahead. I'm ahead. Can you believe that? Wow. Unbelievable. I'll also say this about him. Shout out to Sid, too. Three points last night. He passes Phil Esposito for 10th all-time points. With I, I think we're going to do this every episode now. He's going to pass what he's some doing. He's, crazy he's, name. He's hunting down Joe Sackick now as the next oh. on the list, which is pretty amazing. Steve Iserman's above there, I believe. So some of these names... I know Sid's a big Stevie Y guy too. He grew up uh, idolizing him and his career, 1,591 points, 1,591 as of last night with his game. And he now sits 10th all time in points. Pretty amazing. The East race is insane. It is intense. I, 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 we were talking while we were watching. I had the Penguins game on my phone last night while we were at that second game, that BC game. And, um, you were saying they got to win this game in regulation. They got it because they're playing Detroit. They're right there with Detroit, but they got to get this game in regulation. Sure enough, bang, bang. They get two goals to tie it up. Five, five late Merles. I report to you. I'm like, Merles, they just scored twice in like two minutes. What the fuck? And you're like, oh, you got to get this game in. You got to get this in regulation. There's still five minutes left on the clock. They weren't able to pull it out, but they stink in overtime. And somehow they won an OT at Carlson with a massive goal. But this race, Merles, it's, it's unreal. It's like, insane. Philly was dead, and that was uh, you had the Pittsburgh game on. Bobby Brink's dad was there. Yeah. He had the Flyers game on. We had the NCA going. It was it was a hockey overload. But now Philly, they were done. They get a big win against the Rangers of all teams, so they're still hanging around. The Islanders six in a row. I, I feel like they're kind of solidified themselves. They're in, and and now it's up just to that last the, spot. The Caps lose to the Sabers last oh. night. And they let me see here. They outshoot them 24 17. Like not a not a not an interesting game at all. This is the anomaly team. But the night before that, the game before Washington played, I believe it was Detroit. They beat Detroit and they got doubled up in shots. So Detroit like hammered them and just couldn't score. Like I don't get this caps team. The the caps are <clears throat> sitting on the outside looking in right now, but not by much. Penguins have to separate from them from one point. Washington's tied with Detroit. The Penguins are one point in the second wild card at 86 points, 89 points for the Islanders in that third card, uh, th a third spot in the Metro. So um, I don't know. Maybe they sit there. Maybe the Penguins just worry about, I think it may is that second wild card spot just to play because of where they're sitting and how it's looking because I, they play the Islanders in the last yeah. game of the season too. They got the Penguins got Boston, then they got Nashville, then they got the Islanders. They have the hardest uh, schedule, I think. Schedule. And they're all like Nashville still playing for something. Boston still playing for the the President's Trophy, believe it or not again. 
So yeah, tough schedule for the pens, but they, it's Crosby. He's going to find a way. Yeah. I'm, I'm convinced he's going to find Mark a way D in the chat says the wings are just too inconsistent. Mark, every team that's in that area is inconsistent. It's crazy. Like what's the points to get in the playoffs? Merle's usually. Yeah, that's that's a tough question. Like 96? ninety six. I would yeah, I would say yeah. Like nine, they're not going to get nine, like what are they at right now? Nine. What are they at right now? D Detroit. I, I said eighty six the... points right now for the Penguins in the second wild card spot. Eighty six points with three games remaining. I said it in the deadline. They they should have went out and got a goalie. The Red Wings needed a goalie if they wanted to really make a run this year. They should have got the goalie. And oh, you can't do the future for one game. Like well, you're right there. Yeah. Look at the Sabres last year. They missed by a point. Now look at them this year. They're not there. Yeah. Oh, we'll wait till next year. Like, no, you got to go for it. When you're hot, you're hot. Yeah. You got to ride that's, it. That, that's been the big thing about Carolina. They've never, they've always been good. They've been kind of the kings of the Metro for a few years now. Uh, them and the Rangers are kind of on the rise. They're right there and they've never done anything. And this year they go and get Jake Gensel, who's having a great run up on that top line with, uh, with Jarvis. What a guy. What a guy, Western guy. He's Shout out, Western guy. <laughs> um, and and they go get Kuznetsov for like nothing as well. I mean, they've they've kind of made a play to say, okay, we're finally going to try to do something and go for it. And that's why you just got to get in too. You never know what can happen with the way this league is. You never know. The, the West is a beast. The West is insane to try to uh, plug through that. Uh, it's just going to be an amazing weekend of sports. You've got Frozen Four. You've got Masters Golf. you got Wit winning the putt-putt. Yeah. I mean, we got it all going on, and then you got these amazing playoff races in the NHL, Merles. Uh, Matthews, let's get to Matthews yeah, again. I mean, business around here, we better talk about the Leafs. The I don't, I don't want to hear about him at, on lunch. Yeah, you guys didn't talk about Matthews. Two more last night. This guy is un incredible. How many games do they have left? They got three left. He's got 68 goals. He's going to get the 70, right? He's going to get, like, I thought 70 was maybe, when he got fifth, when he got 60, I was like, no way, that's like, how are you going to do that? And he just, he, he's just on fire. And the big thing is last night too, did you see that clip of uh, him getting kind of roughed up on the wall? Pasha, who was that? Pasha will know. 17. Is that that young kid? Simone Nemitz, yeah. Oh, Domi came in and tap danced on him. <laughs> that was a scummy, scummy move by Domi. The kids were 19, 20. What are you doing there? He learned his lesson the hard way. Don't touch Matthews, buddy. Get Not your bad. eyes welded shut. Check the game notes, kid. Here we go. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> scummy Here. move by Domi there. Another L for the for the <laughs> Devils. <laughs> yeah. This first season can't end soon enough. October cannot come soon enough. What a joke. <laughs> yeah, Jack Hughes out for the season, shoulder surgery. We knew something was wrong, Posh. And your yeah. your rookie defenseman stud trying to get his feet wet in the NHL. Domi tap dances on him with about 40 <laughs> uppercuts for dinner. How's she going? His There's dad Domi. did not look impressed, though. Ty did not no, look he didn't. I see Stingsby in the chat says Domi missed every punch. Maybe that's what had Ty fuming a little bit sitting there. Do <laughs> you think? You think, Could Posh? Be. Could be. I think so. Yeah, Stingsby's never wrong. So I think he's onto something. Shout out to Pasha. Shout out to yeah, Pasha. Thanks, Pasha. He's eating thanks. a lot of L's this year, but he's on the Game Notes crew now. We got yeah. full support for you, Pasha. Full support. Thanks, we love thank you. you. Thank you. Thank All you. right, where are we going now, Mur? Yeah, that, get... that was about it. I want to get a couple picks in there. I know people are here for the picks. The games are starting. I do have one European pick today. It's over in Sweden, and this pick is... I mean, I, I had the Bluey pick the other night. Yeah, I didn't really talk about my week. But oh, I went, yeah, let's get I went, to that. I, went, I had to go to the Bluey concert. Not had to, but I drove my mom and my daughter there. My mom never gets to take Lily anywhere. So I take the Bluey <laughs> pick. And uh, and I was like, oh, the Blues are playing. So I said, all right, I got to take the Blues. And as I'm sitting waiting for them in a restaurant, the Gloria song comes on. Gloria. Yeah, you know, the yeah, blues. the Blues. Oh, this is a this is a Bluey, the Blues. Yeah, I'm like, and then this comes on. I go, oh, my God. Just, like seconds after I tweeted the pick and put it in, I was like, this is a sign. And and they took care of business. They scored four goals in the first four minutes. But I'm going with the signs. Last night we're in a we're in the Uber home, and we're talking to this guy. And somehow Sweden comes he's from, up. He's from Sweden. He's from Sweden. He's he, he he's lived there 20 years. He just moved here with his wife from Minnesota. And where is he from? He's from Gothenburg. So then all the SHL talk starts up. And for Lunda, he knew all the players. You guys were Tommy Callio restaurants and players. <laughs> so. I, I, I pull out my trusty little phone today. I'm looking at the SHL and I see it for Lunda. They're at home. It's the semifinal. So I'm on, I'm on for Lunda versus lefty and money line minus minus one thirty. Wow. Sign. 
Wow. Did you, I saw a clip of Sheleftia. One of their players is hurt, and he's in the stands, like getting the fans going in the stands with yeah, the supporters, doing the cheers, doing the electric stuff for them. Yeah. So I like that play. They're always a good team for Olanda. Right, they're yeah. always. Is Lash still there? Ryan Lash, no, my he, boy. He finally left. He's over in Finland. Yeah, he's a Finland Pelicans uh, guy. You know who the GM of Ferlunda is? Is uh, your old teammate in Toronto, Freddie Shustrom. Oh, Freddie Shuey? Yeah. What a hilarious, yeah. awesome guy. Amazing. So we're, Amazing. On the, we're on them today. Amazing. Of course, that was where the World Juniors were, where you yeah. spent some time with the USA Hockey Dads uh, pregame partying all the way to a gold medal. And I like, tie this all together. The head coach of that team is the Denver head coach, oh, Carl. Yeah. So it's, it's really wild. There's seven guys on BC that were on that World Junior team that he coached. So, so somebody's getting double, double championship. Yeah. Sure. Unbelievable run for some of these guys and building a super team in BC. I don't like it. I don't think it's good. I know they built a super team with their lines. Uh, I know what they did. Uh, it's very LeBron like, I don't know <laughs> why they did that. I know you can do that in college. You can get together at the program, the USA program, which just dropped their latest group of uh, kids that are, uh, invited on the, the USA hockey team in the development program. Pretty cool. Congratulations to you, young men, on your journey. And uh, I don't weights, know. maybe? Is, is it out there? They're 16. Think, yeah, I don't do them. Probably 08s. 16, 15, 16? So, around that age. So good luck. And I think they go to, where do they go? Plymouth? Plymouth, I think. They go to that rink yep. in Plymouth. That's where we future, were. Future stars of the game. Yeah. But we have, I mean, I want to keep talking to NCAA while we're here. Is like, we got to see Macklin Celebrini yesterday. Yep. He took a big hit. Oh, he got rocked, and, and and he really wasn't the same after that. I don't think he, I, that was a, a like Denver. I not only did the coach make some changes, but that hit changed the game too. I know this might be controversial. Um, do you? Do, and I know he lit it up this year at his age too, which is like crazy. Um, but do you think he think he should go to the NHL next year? I I mean, no, he's a really good player. Do you, or do you think he should just go back and do one more year? Yeah, I, I, I kind of feel like he should. Yeah, I think he needs one more year. When you saw Gauthier and yeah, Will Smith, it's, it's a big difference. It was a huge difference from him. Yeah, and he is what two years younger than Gauthier, yeah. so I I get it. But yeah, I, I I would expect him to get drafted first overall, play one more year there, get bigger, get stronger, get the coaching of Whitney there, Whitney senior advisor. You know, yeah. stay there, play one more year. Where's he going to go? San Jose? They're they're not going to be anything to go to. So. Yeah, he's only 17. Yeah. Joe Burns in the chat says that is correct. Yeah. He's only 17 years old. Thanks, Joe. I think another uh, I think another year of college, although he will light it up 100 percent, is is just probably good for his development to make sure he's probably ready to go. That's my opinion in watching him. Uh, we'll see where he goes and what happens. I mean, if he's in San Jose. You may be with that Will Smith. They might be all young, kind of like a little quick rebuild with this yeah. young talent, but you don't want to put them into the pressure cooker like that on teams that stink or like go to Chicago, play with Bedard. If you get to, if they get that lottery ball, uh, time will tell, but uh, they are out. There's lots of time to think about it, unfortunately for him and our good friend, Ryan Whitney. All right, Mer. Yep. We want to go to Friday, Friday, yep. Friday, Pasha. Let's Friday. throw up Friday's picks. Friday. Here we go, baby. Five games today. This is exciting. We're all here together. We can go watch the game. There's a Hobie Baker award ceremony tonight. Maybe we'll check that out, but I, I'm excited to watch some games with you guys. Wits coming in. We'll get some action on. First game up, I'm on Predators. Predators minus one and a half. I get them plus 105. They're going to beat up on Chicago. And, of course, I take the factor O'Reilly over half assist. He, The games we weren't sponsored by them, uh, he still was scoring all the time. So I feel like when we record game notes, we have to take O'Reilly to get a point. So that's plus 105. And then, like I said, Wits coming to town. He's got 22 grand in his pocket from the mini putt. I'm sure he's going to put a bet in before he leaves Chicago mm -hmm. on his Oilers. So I'm riding with the whip minus 105 on the Oilers. Great picks. There they are coming across that ribbon on the bottom. If you want to take them, mark them down. EBR, everybody rides. I, we, we've got an unbelievable setup in my room where Fish has set up the, 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 the chat and everything onto my TV here. So if you see me looking over here, that's what I'm doing. Laura just put in a shot parlay. If Fishy could just scroll it back for me so I can see that. Great job, Fishy. I love giving out. Oh, you went by it. You went by it right there. Shot lay, she's calling it. Four shots. Forsberg. Three shots, Yossi, Hyman, Kaprizov, Eichel, Svechnikov. Mark that down. Four shots, Forsberg. Three shots, Yossi, Hyman, Kaprizov, Eichel, Svechnikov. Two shots, Keller, Kane. 
That's an unbelievable parlay. Plus 1,254. That's unbelievable. The Laura. There you go, folks. Right in the chat. We love Laura. I have you watching all the games and checking your Yeah, that has it. That has you in the action right there. Jeremiah Maxwell, we love you. The sports beard. We'll, We'll hopefully see you. See you in town. Uh, somewhere around town. He's here at the Frozen Four again. Down Hobie again. Baker, maybe. He's all over the Hobie Baker. Who do you got for the Hobie Baker here? Oh, Celebrini? Jeez. I, I think Gauthier is going to get Gauthier's it. Gauthier's going to. Goals. Once he's setting a record, goals, he has a chance to, like. Ah, maybe so. Yeah, I don't know. That's tough. I want Will Smith. Like, geez, I still think Will Smith. <laughs> but, um. We have yeah, I just like I like the Celebrini was good last night. It's hard. Like, I know that was already count. It wasn't counted against him. But Gauthier just looked awesome. Yeah, awesome. he did. He looked good. He looked solid. He looked like a pro player. It's a big difference. It's just nope. a big yeah. difference the way he looks comparatively. Will Smith also, he looks like he could be majorly pro ready with the way he handles himself. I'm kind of rattled. They're both like San Jose and Anaheim out west. I'm not I know. Get to see them as much. I know. I stay up and watch all the games, so I'll see them. I'm a loser. Well, I will too, but it's easier when they're on the East Coast. Yes. But- Especially if I'm in Sweden, it actually works better. Maybe when I'm in Sweden, those West Coast come on at four thirty in the morning. So I'll, just, <laughs> yeah. I'll go to bed early when I really want to watch those guys cook. So I don't know what we're gonna. We have a beer league heroes. We have that uh, segment or no? I, I didn't get any crazy bench clears. I think the guys listened to us last week. We said stop tomahawking everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. right. Stop uh, with the lightsaber fights. Yeah. Come on, clean it up. Here we go. Yeah, I played uh, a beer league game this this weekend on Monday. I play every Monday night usually. We just dummied the team this time. We we came right out. We dummied them. We were trying to play as quick as we could because the NCAA basketball was on. So we finished the game real quick, and the stupid bar next to our rink closes early, which is just ridiculous. So that's another story. That's for the Mindsies. But then I, I'm like, all right, I know this other sports bar. Let's run over there, and we'll watch the end of the national championship, the second half. I go into that bar. The girl's putting – it's a sports bar, recovery sports bar. That's what it's called, recovery room sports bar. Like to recover. Yeah, it started like <laughs> next to a hospital, but it's like a chain now. It's a it's a sports bar. All there is is sports memorabilia. On. It's the start of the second half. The ladies putting all the bar stools up on the bar, and I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa! Like, are you not staying open for the end of the national championship game? She goes, No, I just did last call. I'm like, I got 20 guys coming. Can you stay open? No, no. nope. Well, so. big, big, uh, big props maybe to the NCAA. I believe they still kept serving beers. Merles was on the on a right. tirade yesterday at the game <laughs> and went to overtime till the second game kicked in. We're standing with the Denver families because they were there as yeah. well at that ring. They reminded and me. And you're of like, it. well, hopefully they keep serving beers at this place. No, or that whatever. was the dad. the dad. The dad reminded me of yeah. it. I'm like, oh yeah. So then I went into my whole spiel about it. <laughs> yeah, it was awesome with the rant. Yeah. Big rants from the hockey parents on on yeah. on what Merles was pissed. They shut down the bar at those games yeah. during the tournament. They kept them open last night here in St. Paul. All right, Merle's show or Mindsies. Now it's time. What do you got for us? Yeah, I mean, I had this show in there for a while now, and I guess I could have added from the NCAA, but this goes back to Sweden. Our team, Timra, our EBR team, Timra, I told you they're making a coaching change, and that's why things kind of fizzled out at the end of the year. And and I said it. I I, I had the breaking news back then. It was Ole Jokinen, former NHLer. Uh, he's, now it's official. He's coming. We're getting a big name to coach that team. So that show. Is he a good Sunday. coach? I, I think he's going to be good. He he was in uh, Finland the last few years. So he's been team. coaching. Yeah, he's been coaching in Eucharit, it's called. And they were always a lower level finish team. He got them into the playoffs and relevant. And I just think with that NHL experience, it's good for our, our young guys. It's going to, they're going to have to respect him and do what he says. And just, I think he's going to bring a more North American kind of style where you've seen finish the Swedish style. Well, yeah, no, but I think he's going to bring like the NHL style. Okay, yeah. Because in Finland, they're playing more NHL with the smaller ranks. Well, yeah. you, you saw in Sweden where it's kind of it's defensive, scared defensive, hockey a little hands bit. off to the coaches aren't too hard on the guys. They they let everybody kind of have a good time. And I didn't like that when I played. I'm like, I want to get yelled at. Like, so so we're all better. Can we have a real strict system? So I think he's going to do good for that. So I'm bringing Timra back to the show. Good signing, Ole Jokinen, in head coach. Yeah, that's huge. Awesome. My show is Connor Mahoney. I'm going to give him a oh. shout out. Send him to the show. Played at Shattuck through his career. Just a great guy. Had was dialed in with the with Tristan Bros OT winner interview as well. 
got in touch with us. I think he got in touch with G maybe, and then through that or got in touch with you, Merle somehow. Yeah. He just came Him down into the crew. concourse and like, just started talking shop with us. His buddy was from Syracuse actually. Yeah. New York kid. So he knew Syracuse stars and he's asking about Conley and Gianta and all that. You man, guys may not crew. know him probably, but just a super great kid, fan of the pod, fan of, of, of spitting chiclets invited us up to his box. It was his grandfather. Um, or, kind of his step grandfather a little bit when he I guess he said his his grandfather passed away yeah. or his father or something yeah. and, and mom, this guy his mom raised both of them she's like yeah. I was in the I was the one in the only mom in the locker room tying their skates both skates yeah and she's she's funny she's like now it all starting to make sense I keep finding these empty pink Whitney bottles around his room <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so. just a great kid though yeah. and came and invited us up uh, Jim Cargill is the guy's name Cargill if you guys know the uh, company it's worldwide um few food distributors i think they're all over from saskatchewan where i'm from you see them everywhere in the farming industry and processing and what they do massive company and so this is one of the heirs and the guy that runs it now from like his family line of cargill and the guy couldn't have been any nicer said anytime you guys want to come here anytime you're in minnesota you want to come to a concert a game this is always open just amazing so connor mahoney thank you for your hospitality to you and your family you made it awesome for us to be able to come in there and get out. We were we were right in the mix. We were in the mix. Busy's head was swinging around everywhere. Could we get busy in here for a pop in? Maybe we'll hopefully get busy in here for yeah. a pop in. He's probably at the steam rooms, getting her going. Thai massage. You know how he likes it. Uh, <laughs> we don't know what he's doing right now, but uh, shout out to Connor Mahoney and his crew, his yeah. mom, his buddies, uh, and Mister Jim Cargill for having us up there. Amazing people and great hospitality. The minds yeah, yeah, Merle. Yeah, I think we need Cargo maybe be a sponsorship game. Oh notes. my if god! We, if we see them on Saturday, It'd be a write off. It'd be a write off. <laughs> you just go. write it off. I don't know. <laughs> it's like I don't know how that works. It's a write off. Anything <laughs> when you're rich and you have businesses, you just do stuff and you say it's a write off, right? <laughs> it's a write off. That's what that box was at the rink. It's a write off. <laughs> you know, like just just write it off. That's what rich people do. They write stuff yeah, off. Write off the game notes. Multi billionaire. They're also into like. Uh, aviation and stuff they were telling me about like you can rent planes off of them and in some kind of company as well i don't know the name of the company otherwise i'd give them maybe a shout out but um thank you great hospitality show show, show. crew that was show that was definitely show my mindsies i'm gonna go back into the nhl the whole rangers islanders thing here i love it i grew up islanders fan rangers those are the brawls i loved it little controversy when mika ran into the guy uh did you think he meant to do that? i don't think anybody meant to do Pelic? anything there so laviolette goes crazy after and what he said was a, it was a shoulder it. elbow to the head yeah he so, said double things it was two things patrick Wah was hilarious in the in the press conference he's like oh yeah when you're upset you might or when you lose or something you might say things that aren't true or something like that whatever you can listen to it but it's just minds he's complaining about that if you watch the tape it was both unintentional. Like, yeah, Mika, collision. Mika's my guy, but like, dude, it was kind of like Kazari the night before. Like, we're in the in the Pittsburgh game. Those two players ran into each other, and Kazari got really hurt, got knocked out. That was kind of similar, almost, yeah. right? Yeah, it's just keep your head up and can't cry about that, Rangers. You got an, you got enough. You, you're winning. Just be happy. But I oh, if we can get Rangers Islanders somehow in this playoffs, that's I need that. Yeah, that'd be electric. Somebody in the chat said uh, Cargill Air and Chicklets Air collab. Ooh. That might be our in. Yeah, that's good. He's it. got the planes. He's got the business sense. <laughs> yeah. I got the idea. We got You got the idea. That's how you yeah. collab. You, I do that. Idea guy. Merle's unbelievable. My mindsies is mini. Uh, what was I going to say? I think it's mini. I have it written down here. Minneapolis. Minneapolis to the mindsies. Big time. St. Paul. Show. Minneapolis wheeling around here, ghost town, kind of weird, like yeah. sketched out, like nothing's going on. It's so different than St. Paul, St. Paul. We go down there. It's electric. There's like a great vibe, great scene, uh, like a ton of hotels, lots of bars. I mean, and there's the basketball facility where the, where the NBA plays is right here. You think there'd be more liveliness. There's it's the just, baseball stadiums right yeah, there. Right down there. Uh, we went by the football stadium. There's not one bar or restaurant anywhere near there. It's so weird. But yeah, over at the XL Energy Center where we'll be tomorrow, Smorgies. We'll be at Smorgies tomorrow. That place was popping last night before the game. All I saw was hockey jerseys in there. That's going to be really cool. We were over at Zamboni's before the game. Yeah. And they took real good care of us. They're they wanted amazing. us to do the show there somehow. Yeah. And she came over. What were those purple drinks called? 
Yeah, Somebody what was that chat, called? You guys got what's know the it. Minnesota drink that uh, the grape ape. grape ape? You're supposed to drink it through a straw. It's a purple kind of drink. So we brought it over. Obviously, Biz didn't do it. He's off the sauce, but we all did it to do it and and welcome ourselves to apparently that place too. What's it called Zambonis? Zambonis. Yeah. They have the original recipe for the grape ape, <laughs> and no one else has it. They try to do it everywhere else. They try to can it. They try to do this. There, there may be something with copyright infringement or something. Yeah, on she was all over it. Yeah, she was adamant about it. She was it. adamant about the copyright, but uh, we did the original. It was great. We did it. They got our food out to us. It was great. And then we made it over for the game. We had to fill the boilers. We had to get it going. We had to get back over there. Yeah, so here it is. Smorgies tomorrow, 3.30 to 4.30. You got Colby, Grinnell, Merles, Biz, and Wit. According to this, we have not heard from him after the BU loss. We were all afraid to text the group or talk to him. Did not want to upset the king. But uh, he should be coming here today. Smorgies, it's just inside the Courtyard Marriott Hotel, right across from the rink. Right by the rink. It's going to be a wild party. Pink Whitney. Everyone's uh, coming in. Is is Whit still coming in? He's he's. I'm afraid to text him. I don't want to know. No, I don't want to know. He should be here soon. G will be here. Biz is already here. Oh yeah. By the way, I'm doing TNT on Sunday afternoon. As is Biz. He has a double header. I'm doing Colorado Vegas. So I'm going in. Uh, I'll give that a little plug as well. It is the um, what's it called? Uh, the the. Not metaverse, uh, something. Oh yeah, the unit altverse. No or? metaverse. No, no. With all the cartoon characters, Shaggy and Bugs Bunny. But yeah, Batman, uh, Superman. Somebody it's, in the chat will have it here. Yeah, I, I just forget the name of it, but it's it's like a an, like a, a different a multiverse. There we go, Jazz. Thank you, Jazz will be there. Thank you, Jazz, for saving my ass in the chat. Jazzy, Jazzy, our boy. I wish he was here at Frozen Four. I know he'd love this stuff. Big uh, lacrosse guy too, but. Uh, the multiverse game will be on Sunday afternoon, 2.30 start Eastern time. We got a great game. It'll be in this kind of uh, multiverse dimension or world uh, with players that were drafted onto each team. We did the draft. It was awesome. So Biz is like, I must fly out Saturday night so I could get in there early. So I was going to miss the game. Biz is like, I'm staying for the game. Of course you are. You're locked into NCAA hockey now. <laughs> yeah, he's he's, he's a, a super, super fan. fan. <laughs> he's got to do a doubleheader. So he got me to change my flight. From the night of to Sunday morning, 5.30 a.m. departure out of here to get to Atlanta to work that game. So stay tuned for that game. Tune in for that game. It'll be kind of fun and cool, like kids, adults, if you memories. Uh, um, and I'll be calling the game. I'll be doing color with Steve Mears. A uh, partner of mine does radio for the Penguins in Pittsburgh as well. So that, stay tuned for that. And Biz will be on the panel doing the regular TNT thing. Also, so that's that's where I go next before I get to go home and sleep in my own bed. Yeah, so I, I'm I'm up early too. I'm on an 8 a.m. flight Sunday because I wanted to get back for the Masters. The leaders <laughs> usually go off at 2:45, and there's no direct flight, so I gotta get up early. And I made the mistake of saying this in front of my wife. I'm like, I think I was telling my dad, like, like, you didn't want to get home for her and the kids. You yeah, wanted so to get I'm home. like, Dad, I'm like, pick me up at 2:30 <laughs> at the airport. He's like, oh, that's pretty early. I'm like, yeah, the leaders go off at 2.45. I wanted to make sure I was home for that. And you know, I was like, oh, you didn't want to get home for me and the kids? I'm like, ah, yeah, yeah, that too. So I know, my wife is, great. I know my wife's watching. I love yeah. you. Yeah, I love you. Can't wait love to you. see you again. It's been a while. Great job. And Take the care kids. Of them. Uh, but that, that's going to be a good Sunday. You got the Masters. You got that game. It's going to be a good Sunday. But we'll get up, get right out of here. And it's going to suck because that Pink Whitney party is going to get away from me like they always do. A lot of drink so. ideas flowing in the chat right yeah. now for the Ar Army Palmer. I seen uh, Singzy <laughs> oh. came in with the uh, Armtini. Yeah. That Moscow could be Merles has been Moscow coming in Merles a while. Moscow has been shooting in. I tell you what, did you see that run, the Mango Merles, when that got released? Every Arm dog in, in black, heat, the guy says. Sports. Arm dog in heat. Oh. <laughs> Army hates kids from Libby. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> Love my kids. Oh. Just it's the other ones. The other ones I'm unsure about. Uh, Libby, thank you for... You might need to r r correct that. Other Hates other kids. And I'll, I'll say, okay, maybe, maybe. I've had some pretty hardcore Mindsies calls this year on some kids. Kids' <laughs> behaviors and actions. Uh, I agree. I agree. I need to tighten it up. I need to. That's where I let out my frustration on the show for you guys, <laughs> for the chat, for our fans, for everyone to get. So we got that going. We want to get to the weekend, Merles. Yeah, let's get the picks going Saturday. How 13. Many big. Look at that. Slate. Look at that slate. Massive games. Tampa Bay, Washington. Oh, boy. You got to watch that one. There's I unbelievable mean, all, Islanders, like, Rangers, Philly, Philly Devils is going to yeah. be important. That's absolutely Boston, Pittsburgh. That's that wild card race. Yep. Over there, you got St. Louis in there. Are they playing at all? Do you see them in there? Blues, where are they? 
No, they Vegas play playing. The Blues play tonight, I believe. No Vegas. No, they're, they're tonight both too. Tonight. Yeah, they're okay. all tonight. So yeah, you so watch. I got I got a few plays. I want to pop those pucks up there, Pasha. There they are. Three games. You know me. I like the early games, even when I'm not in Europe. I still like the early games. I'm taking the Islanders again. They just beat the Rangers. They need it more. I like this Islanders team. They I think they just they match up well against the Rangers. So I'm gonna get a good price on that one. Islanders money line. I'm taking Dallas minus one and a half. Oh. They have been on fire. They kind of struggled a little bit the last couple games, but I look for them to get back back on track there. Early game. I love the day games. And then I'm going Pittsburgh. I don't know if you want me on Pittsburgh, but I I, I want to. I want, I to want you on them. Pittsburgh. Of course, I want I, you on Pittsburgh. I, I, they need this. I, I want them. I'm rooting for them. So I'm on Pittsburgh as well. I think I'll get a decent price there because they're playing Monty in Boston. So that's that for for the NHL. But the big play is Saturday night is the national championship game, BC versus Denver. Oh, and I what am, rule is this? I am horrible at these picks. I am terrible when I take an under. But I've watched Denver live now, and they cannot score. They overpass. Their goalie's phenomenal. BC's goalie's it's phenomenal. Insane. So I'm seeing under six, minus 110 on DraftKings Sportsbook right now. I'm all over that. The line is crazy for BC. BC is minus 270. Last I looked, it might have even gone up more. The it, arm dog like so, the underdog. Yeah, right now, Boston College is minus 298. Oh, upside down. Denver is plus 220. <laughs> I can't touch BC with minus 300 odds. So I'm going under six in that game. What's your pick? You're the going arm Denver? dog likes the underdog. Money they line? battle. They battle. They hang in there. Boston Buckberger, Saskatoon kid. <laughs> Shout out to him. You know I'm going a Western leaguer in there. Western guy, Saskatoon kid. Mom taught him skating. Great family. Awesome. Watched his dad play for the Swift Current Broncos back when I was like 15 or 13 years old. I was a real young little guy. Went to a game in Swifty. Dad was ripping it up on Speedy Creek. Shout out to them and their family. Defenseman for, for Denver. I had Tyler Bozak message me last night. My old roommate, one of, the, one of my roommates, actually almost every single roommate during the roommate era of the NHL won the Stanley Cup. Tyler Bozak did that with the St. Louis Blues. Text me, way to go, Pios. Wish I was there. All the stuff you sent me, all the stuff. Shout out to Bozy, my boy, Denver guy as well. Uh, and, and I found this out last night. I didn't even think about this. Also, staying on the Denver track, Gavin Morgan. <laughs> Gavin Morgan, the genesis of the game note story of me getting my eyes shut, fighting Gavin Morgan in Salt Lake City, who's trying to get an NHL. Everything's the signs, Jerry. Jerry, yeah, it is. the signs are all coming together. They're trying to get an NHL team. And Gavin Morgan played at Denver and I got my eyes welded shut by him and Dag said, check the game notes. And that's how come we're here right now. So, gee, I see you sitting there. You're looking like wedding ready, but yeah, I'm, I'm on the pick, underdogs. G. G, you took off your BC gear. That's too bad. I'm going underdogs big time right now. Let's go Denver. Oh, you're muted. You're muted. Mute dog. I, love I know BC money line. I love Will Smith. Anytime goal scorer. I like the under with uh, with Merles there, but one I just saw in the chat, super interesting that I'm slowly leaning towards, even though I love BC money line. The B the D U B C draw plus three fifty. Oh, Merle special, Merle special. Ryan Leonard too, though. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, take any point over you can with Ryan Leonard. He didn't score last game. Perot got on the board. Smith got on the board. Gauthier got on the board. I think Leonard's due for one. And he's a yeah, big yeah. game player, always comes to play in those big games. I like that kid a lot, G. Great call on that. He's going to be – he's going to be a, a little a, shit. He's going to be <laughs> a valuable <laughs> NHLer for that Washington yep. team. Like, they got a real stud in him. This game, he's physical. He's in the shit. He's knocking guys' feet out off face-offs. Like, he's always doing something. His skill and skating is really good. I know when Chicklets, the boys, and, and just in talking, they mentioned it too, like a Matthew Kachuk type of player, maybe a better skater. Like he gets around really well. So great call by G right there on him. Keep an eye out for him. I don't know what the numbers are or line is on him. Anytime point or maybe a couple points with the way that line goes, but yeah. worth looking at. Yeah, he had a goal or he might have had even two in that gold medal game. So like G said, oh, he's, he's, a a, he's a big game player. Guys like that that like to go to the net are, are, aren't afraid of the hitting. They show up in the big game. Yeah, uh, unbelievable yeah. tonight. Or uh, that Saturday night, the championship, national championship, Frozen Four game. 
Uh, that's a big play right there, Merles. Thank you for that. Pasha, let's move to Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Only four games on Sunday, but some big games, some implicating games. You see Vegas is going. I'll be on that one with Colorado on Sunday afternoon. That'll be the multiverse game, but St. Louis is playing Seattle as well. I mean, that's that's implications right there. This, these are huge games. Tonight they play. Sunday these teams are in action. Again, keep track of that. And if you're in the Western Conference fans, um, what are you on? What's EBR? Yeah, throw doing? that puck right up there. You said it. St. Louis is a big game. I love them when they're playing at home in these big games. Gloria, Ooh. Gloria, I bet you I could have met you. Gloria, Gloria, Gloria. Oh, you know I get you. I get you. Gloria, Gloria, Gloria. You know you got my number, my number. There you go, Merle. Wow, wow. Can I can I call you Sunday before the game? Yeah, get that I'll get that going again, for you. Please, because that, that worked last time. I like the Blues a lot there. And I'm going to fade the Blackhawks again. Carolina minus one and a half. I, I, that might even be too big of a line, but they're going to beat them three, four, three, four, nothing like easily. Sunday, lock that one in. Carolina, three or four, nothing. Only though, I'm only, I'm not touching Vegas, Colorado. They're, that's too much for me. Maybe an over. Maybe throw a little something on the over just to watch you on your multiverse. Sly Puck says, my ears in all capitals. Come <laughs> on. Come on, <laughs> Sly Puck. Who are you pretending? <laughs> Who are you faking? Who do you listen to? Huh? Who do you listen to, bud? Who you got on your pot? Who do you got on your little iPod in your pocket? Come on, bud. I ripped that song up. There it's it for is. the vibes. Gloria dog. Gloria. <laughs> <That's> another one. <laughs> <laughs> Gloria dog. Mute dog. I'm zipping. <laughs> I love the chat. The chat. Minus one sly puck. Thank you, Will. Absolutely. Love it. Love it. Thank you, chat. Chat's electric as always. That song is atrocious from sly puck. He doesn't like it. So it, maybe it isn't me. Maybe he's biased towards the song. Not a big Gloria song guy. Okay, that's fine. The songbird of our of our generation, Arm Zempic. Thank you. Thank you, Ian. Uh, of course. Yes. You sing dog. Sing dog. That's pretty close to sing Z Libby. Uh, the chat is absolutely buzzing. Merle's they joined Love us it. here. From Minneapolis, St. Paul, Frozen Four. Uh, there you have it. You've got your weekend of picks. You got your EBR picks. Follow along on all our socials. We'll be having updated stuff. Fishy's knocking everything out. We're getting interviews. We're getting content. It's dropping all the time here from our trip here. Is Biz kicking around? Can we get Biz in for a hello. No showed us. Biz no showed us. He's not popping in. I don't blame him though. This guy's a work. You should see the oh. clinic this guy put on oh. down at the XL Energy Center. It, unbelievable start to finish came in buzzing just absolutely buzzing and was just so electrically fun with all the people he am, gets the energy up he's, he's a machine so he's probably sleeping in he's probably just like resting i would imagine merles i don't I think he does rest he he's his mind is always going he's always up to something he's he, he's probably down like you said he's probably down the steamer ready to go when this hangs up we're gonna be like let's go to lunch and then he's gonna start up again Biz, 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 everybody. I don't, no. I don't, I hate to do this, biz. Oh, you want a picture? Yeah, yeah, buddy. Yeah, knuckles. Hey, knuckles. Hey, knuckles. <laughs> He's talking about yeah. that all the time. Yeah. He's getting it going for the people. If you're around yeah. at the XL uh, tomorrow uh, and even come to uh, Smorgie's pregame for our, our party, our meet and greet um, with Pink Whitney, um, more than happy to get pictures, more than happy to say hello. Just the friendliest crew. Everyone will be here. Are you got anything else on yeah, that? Yeah, Pasha, pop up. Did we get some results from the chat, Lay? Uh, yes, we did. Right here, boys. Let's see, let's see what we got. And Pasha, if you have that Ooh. flyer for the for the thing, let's uh, let's pop that up for our Smorgie's appearance. Can chat, that? Lay, parlay, Hannafin over a point, Vegas minus one and a half. So BC, does that mean everybody's on BC for the big game? I feel like everyone's leaning towards that, hundred percent. Yeah, I mean you have to. Gosh. Denver hasn't played a good game yet. They just keep winning. The coach is a mad genius. He's got those guys playing great. Rizzo is a uh, first game back from the injury. He he showed um, glimpses of what he is, and he should be even better. Yeah. He'll be even better next game. Rizzo's got. I think he had like a lower body injury or something, yeah. right? Like I I think you know that first game tough. back, and it's tough to get moving your legs. In but this scenario, playing yeah. a team like BU, it's practice tough. today. Maybe he'll get another little skate in and uh, get his wheels under him a little bit. But there's no doubt he's he's a player to watch for Denver uh, for sure. Where's where's that flyer? I'm just looking for that flyer. Hold on, Smorgies. Smorgies. I want to get it. I want to get it. You got it. You got, got it there it. for me. I got. Smorgies. Where was it? Give us that Smorgies. 
Skate and one more ad read on yeah. Smorgies. Give us a Smorgies. Minnesota meet and greet Smorgies Saturday, April 13th, 3 30 to 4 30. Located at 107 7th Street, West Street, Paul, St. Paul, Minnesota. Ah, I'm an idiot. West Street. No, it's West St. Paul. So West it's right St. across the, from the from the hockey rink. You got Colby, Grinnell, Merle's Biz, and hopefully the Wit. Pink Whitney Nips. Shots will be flying. These things are always. Always. Oh, yeah, they'll be buzzing. I mean, the last one was in Toronto, and the, the guy had to get wrestled to the ground. So let's not have oh. any of that. But go, Leafs, go. And Pasha's got a camera. He just oh. <laughs> Yeah. The girls will be walking around with this Pink Whitney. Do a Pink Whitney. Do a Pink Whitney. Do a Pink Whitney. All right. Boom, boom, boom. Well, thank you, everybody. Thank you to the chat. Thanks for partaking. Some great comments, some great topics. Uh, uh, the chat lay was buzzing. Um, I got to give one final thing right here. I got to do that before you do that. Let me tell you one more time about DraftKings pick six, go download the app, use code chicklets DraftKings. We love teaming up with them. We are going to put a beating on them this weekend with the EBR picks. Yeah, this is a good call. Some guy goes, why am I only on first name basis on the flyer? Colby. Colby. Not, <laughs> I got 10 nicknames. They got to update this flyer. Yeah, they gotta, like, you, why you're they the got, guy with the most nicknames. Colby. And they just put Colby. Colby reminds me of like Rob Scuderia <laughs> when I got in a, a dust up with a seeker seekers Colby. in Philadelphia, a Philadelphia seeker. He snuck into the hotel and he was trying to get Sid's autograph. And I told him to beat it. You're not allowed to be in here. He got all mad and he was fake eating, ordered a burger in there to pretend like he's allowed in there. Cause he was at the restaurant and we were on to him. You know, I was on to him as, as Sid's security side oh, security yeah. guard. And I'm like, beat it, buddy. You're not allowed to be in here. Like, what are you doing? I knew, I know what you're doing. And he's like, okay, cool, B. And I was standing with Scuds and Rob Scuderi, and he was like uh, dying the way he said my name. It was hilarious. So that makes me think of that when I hear that or see that. Perfect transition from Scuds. We saw him last year at the FDNY game, and that's where we're going to be next weekend. Game notes, I, I we're going to be coming live, hopefully together, either at the Barstool office in New York or the hotel. Depends on all the travel and the times. But next weekend, NYPD, NYFD game will be broadcasting at Barstool TV, everywhere like that. It's going to be insane. And we saw Scuds last year after. So hopefully we'll, we'll have that. Maybe we'll have an Islanders playoff game around then. After, maybe that day or on Sunday, we'll go to Borelli's and watch them. So. Good stuff coming up next weekend, yep. too. And we'll see you at Smorgies tomorrow. Come on down. Come say hi. Come say hi to the crew tomorrow at Smorgies. Uh, brought to you by Pink Whitney. Thank you, everybody. Merle's great job. We'll be in person again next week, 11 o'clock on Friday, right before that game, as Merle said. We'll see you in the chat. Have a great weekend, everybody. Bye-bye. Come on, Pasha. Let's come go on. on.